Bro, I think I found my cat. It's called Frandy Snowshoe Model C. So the snowcat project starts. And we're gonna make some wood tracks. Грузим гусеницы называется. Hello! Haven't seen me for a while. Wow. Давно не виделись, ребята, в гараже, где что-то происходит с Никсоном. Long time since you've seen me make something crazy in the garage. We're working on snowcat tracks. So, uh, plasma cutting these metal parts off. Плазмой срезаем просто болты, чтобы разобрать вот так вот все это и освободить вот эту часть. Our goal is to free up this part. И эта часть, or this part, is the one that cat rides on. The one that's under, это которая снизу гусеницы. The previous guys, they put three layers of rubber. Три куска резины. Ooh, getting tired. Damn, I'm down to like last ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Последние девять осталось. One by one, have to plasma cut them off. You know how old this is? 1950s, that's how they made them back in the day. They say don't invent the wheel if it's already been invented, да? Не делайте колесо, если его уже создали, просто сделайте такое же. Вот этим гусеницам, они 50-х годов. 1950. The remaining of the track. Now the one got taken apart pretty well. So almost there. Gonna have another push tomorrow and get it done. Завтра заканчивать будем. Woo! Thursday morning. I ain't got a little blood on my nose. Finished. The remnants of the track. Все, что осталось. Две стопки железок. Woo! This is a pile of some old, rusty, but expensive, you know what, look at that, all that cracks, all that needs to be repaired. I guess the video will be a proper thing to do for a snow cat, partial restoration, whatever. So, uh, last night for about six hours and today for about, I'll say five hours. I was breaking apart and taking apart browsers and uh, the original tracks. This is what they look like. This is how they look when they were in the track. So this is where the tire rides. Это где колесо ездит. Это старые, не знаю, направители или как их назвать. Guides, да? It's like guides for the tracks. Металл примерно. Three millimeter plushino, it's probably like a little bit over an eighth of an inch, I can get a zoom on this, a focus. So roughly about an eighth plus something gauge steel, made to shape, so we have to figure it out how to get this to work with our next application. So the goal is to break them apart so we can replace all this rubber. They actually Three layered it in some parts. Three slay on your mistake lajili. Just to give you an idea what I had to cut through. This is just insane. Spina prosta. Oh, three layers right here. One, two, three. So this is how you repair a track, I guess, right? Three layers. Awesome. Lots of waste. So with the tracks. I counted to be exact 56, but I'm gonna say it's 60, 60 times 60 grousers, those little crossbars. So roughly 60 grousers on each track. Each of them has 10 bolts and nuts. Washers probably, whatnot, but they're gonna be crushed nuts, not nylon locks. 
grade eight, so you can do the math of how much uh, repair is gonna cost. So give you a little idea. I'm working my out of my buddy's shop. Thankful that he let me borrow it. Because I don't have a space right now to work anywhere anywhere. So uh, so roughly about 10 hours it took me to get one track apart. It's a good uh, fourth of a work week, yeah? Stay tuned. What's up everybody? Do you guys see this? That's a track. So we're working on is another snowcat, Friendy Model E. That's what I was able to pick up recently. So working on building up the tracks. So everybody's asking for updates. So here's the update. Next thing is uh, to get this track done. The track is metal faceplate that was on the exterior. Then it has a wooden grouser, as they call it, and a metal tire guide. So I gotta take all this apart because all this is crap. I mean, this was like triple layered, double layered. You got moss growing in this thing. So I was told this was original track. So this thing is like 67 years old and been mended a few times. So the goal right now is to uh, clean out and uh, get these uh, tire guides fixed up, re-welded and uh, re-secured. So getting the uh, wheel guys done and then uh, I'm gonna have to build a whole new grouser. Uh, I'm still debating if I want to go with the metal one or I want to go with the uh, wooden kind Maybe you know keep it the way it was before or whatever. So anyways, I'm working out of my buddy's shop for now He's let me uh, kind enough to borrow uh, his tools and his space So today is Monday. It's one of my days off. So I'm taking a full day to uh, get this track apart That's the goal for today. Anyways last time it took me uh, what was it? Almost two days to get a track done. So, uh, let's see, a little Russian maybe, huh? Ремонтируем гусеницу. Гусеницы делаем для нового сноукета. Кто следит на драйве, кто следит на Facebook, Instagram. Uh, там все есть обычно. So, uh, I'm just going to do another follow-up. As uh, anybody following up on Instagram and Facebook, um, you will see what's all going on and what's doing. I'm not sure what to show. My bearded face or whatever it is, so... Anyway, stay tuned because uh, I'm gonna get to the point where I'm gonna ask for viewers' support. And what we're gonna do is a little uh, kind of a giveaway backed request, I guess. So if anybody followed or not followed, look through the videos before and the previous videos. I've been making some uh, pretty nice breadboards and butcher blocks, they wanna call them, whatever you wanna call them. So I would like to offer um, a way for viewers and subscribers to. Uh, uh, support this project uh, so basically uh, you can check out Nixon Overland website um, there's the option to buy a breadboard um, yes they're not cheap they're not 50 bucks either I guess but um, they're worth their buck I've had a few people uh, inquire about even purchasing bulk I guess over the Christmas I've had a few guys that uh, bought two or three or five at a time for their uh, Christmas gifts for their families and friends they were nice enough to support me in this way but here um, I think what's, what's going to happen is basically uh, I'm going to have to do a, a live session or two on uh, maybe Saturday or some other day. I don't know. You guys feel free to comment on this. Uh, which day is best to do a live session? Uh, I want to do a live session and I want to do is like uh, I'm going to offer like uh, anybody who buys a breadboard. Um, maybe I'll throw. So I figured I need about 100 boards sold to get this project financed. So out of the 100 people that buy, I'll probably offer maybe 10. So one out of 10 chance to get a snowcat ride with me. Uh, no matter where you are, you're welcome to join me on one of the snowcat trips coming winter uh, and maybe even this season, depending on how fast we get the funds built up and how fast the cat will be finished. So uh, feel free to kind of just, you know, what is it called? Uh, munch on the information and see what you want to do or what you can do. But I'll appreciate any support. Feel free to support me in any other way possible, like commenting and, you know, sharing the videos and everything. That works great. So here's a little update on uh, today's project and today's process. And in about a week or two, I'm planning to have the cat in the shop as well. So I'll be able to share that information for you guys too. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'm a dirty, dirty bastard.
almost there. Man, it's been a long day and I'm tired, but I need to finish it today. Almost midnight and we got pile of scraps, pile of rubber, track number two, done. Николай Николаевич, ты готов на следующее приключение? Ой, а едем мы за Франди, Франди, like France, Франди, France, no, Франди, Франди, Model E, uh, Snowcat. Это такой снегоход, называется Франди. От uh, двух изобретателей. Дяденьку одного звали, фамилия у него была Friends, а другой был uh, D. Johnson, D. Something. Поэтому соединено было два имени и сделали Фронди. И было пять моделей, моя модель последняя, Е. Yeah. Uh, вообще их там несколько даже было, больше чем пять даже. Была модель 1, модель 2, модель 3, потом была модель А, Б, С, Д, Е. И еще модель была называется Фронди Сноушу. Даже такая модель была с лыжей впереди, такая бомба падала. Едем смотреть. Вот что смотреть. Едем грузить. Едем забирать уже. Забирать уже едем, да. Вот. А... Интересная история, конечно, у этого снегохода. А... Не знаю, зачем я это все рассказываю вам, русском, русскоговорящей публике. Не знаю. Не знаю. Ну, ну, будет свое, чего посмотреть. Свое чувство, расскажи, расскажи. Чувства, расскажи, они чувства. бурные, они бурные. А, бурные чувства со всех сторон. Непонятные, немножко такие... Смешанные, да? Смешанные, да, смешанные чувства. Просто вообще все хорошо. Я очень нравится, как откликнулись все подписчики. А, многие поддерживают, а, приобретают разные там футболки, свечерты и все остальное. А, эти доски на разделочные, которые я начал делать, люди покупают. Короче, все, что, как, кто чем может, как говорится, с мира по нитке бедному рубашка. В данный момент я не богатый. И хочется просто увидеть поддержку зрителей. Если нравится, как говорится, и хотите смотреть, то, ребята, надо как-то поддерживать. То есть у вас есть возможность или купить за, за рубль, как говорится, журнал за рулем или же рубль отправить Никсону на PayPal как э, подарок в поддержку, как говорится, всех этих вещей. Доминик там сзади экает. Так что вот так вот. Ну все, смотрите, как говорится, дальше. Пока-пока. No way, Jose. What? I'm gonna throw you off a little bit. Look at that. Ten. What's up, yo? <laughs> Okay, I'll let the, I'll, uh, the comment if you think that I should leave the Timberline Lodge on there or not. And then uh, look in the back. There's the. So the only the only talker thing about the snow cat is the sticker and the orange color on the wheels. By the way, there's nothing talker about the cat. If you weren't aware, this is a friendly. I think I'm pronouncing it right.
that's a maiden voyage. That's the first trip the snow cat has to my possession. Was that a wow or what? <laughs> that's the coolest, this is the coolest cat in town. And it's light. It's exciting. Look at all the room. This is all built to originality. So there's gonna be my seat, the passenger, and now I'm planning to have room for six more in the back. Or at least four more. This is original 1926 Ford Model T, or T Model, Model T I think is called Dash. This part here is original from a Ford Model T. That's what they utilize when they build these brand D Model E cats. Thank you. 